Hi, Geminis. So today I'm going to be doing your dailies. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take with us and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay? Okay, so we have let go of control issues coming out first. Free yourself coming in second. Last but not least, pay attention to the red flags. Okay. Bottom of the deck, let your friends help you. So, there's something that you already are peeping. We're good at peeping shit, okay? Because we analyze everything. And the signs are cautioning you not to ignore that shit. Perhaps I feel like you might have to either free yourself from this person or free us free that other motherfucker that be in the back and curse this motherfucker out however way it goes because you see this she holding back the kid you know it's one of us that's really mature up in this brain and then the other one is child maybe you need to free that child out and let them curse this motherfucker right here out that got us fucked up okay now moving forward let's see let your friends help you. So maybe these bitches need to come and curse this motherfucker out too. Everybody just needs to jump. <laughs> Get the game because he got you fucked up. <laughs> Ain't gonna call the cops. Because <laughs> all my friends is Gemini's and we is fucking nuts together. Be the, beat his ass down to the fucking ground. Anyways, okay. If you need to call me, call me, you know. <laughs> I'm always up for a mood. Anyways, let's see what's going on. All right, so we have someone. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that's trying to show us a little attention. Or trying to get us fucking pre Okay, y'all said don't talk about pregnancy no more. But I'm telling you, look. We got somebody coming in here with sex, with some dick with this pregnant person so you know if it's not pregnant then this is this person trying to spark up a new idea with you know somebody that he finds very cute and abundant but you know time is of the essence it's like all right let's see what's going on but so we're giving this person a chance but clearly there's a red flag somewhere technically we're probably sitting on that motherfucker because we like oh, it's comfy it's okay <laughs> let's see yeah, this person wants to be in a relationship with us, but they have some secrets. They might have, they might, oh, this person is keeping something very close to their chest, okay? This person might have ghosted you in the past. Something that made it very burdening for you to want to take this person back, but let's see. Why is the page of wands here, spirit? What they want now? What the fuck do you want? This person, again, we have the hermit here twice. This person is good at ghosting, okay? This might be someone who is in and out of your life. Hell, you might have ghosted them. Yeah, you might have ghosted them and kept them waiting, but they're back. Yeah, they want attention from you. This person wants to work on things with you. But this motherfucker is toxic. Pay attention to the red flags. They make you really happy, though. But this person also stresses you to fuck out. And again, so now you're at a crossroads with what you want to do here, okay? Yeah, you need to go with your intuition about this. I feel like this is somebody you've been dealing with for a while. You know this person. They're very stable. Well, how the fuck can they be stable, but they're running in and out of your life because this person's still always around. It's like, this is the type of motherfucker that won't commit, but won't let you go type of shit. So I feel like this would be like some shit where this person comes to you and they talk to you, but you're kind of bored with what the fuck this person has to say. It's like blah, 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 because they keep doing it. After, after a while, you've already become conditioned to what this person does. Yeah, so now you're in your head and you're like, hmm, you're thinking about whether or not they're going to ghost you again. And you're guarded. You're guarded about whatever this person is trying to offer you because you're like, what the fuck, man? This is the same talk. Yeah, you might decide to walk away from this person because you're not beat for the bullshit. I feel you on that one. Because don't nobody have time for you to be coming in and out of my life when you feel like it. And they do that because we are the stable ones. We sit here and chill out and be like, oh, we'll find something else to do until you get back. Like, bring back a snack. Like, these motherfuckers just run in and out. Like, no. <laughs> no. Enough. And I feel like this is you. Like, Cursing they ass out about the fact that they keep ghost look. This motherfucker is in a hammock. Got a hammock for a hat. You are hiding? You got the nerve to go somewhere and just hide out? 
I'm over here by myself trying to hold back. You, you're playing with me. You're playing with me. I feel like this person plays with you because they know you have strong emotions for them and let them know. All right, what is the outcome? I see you might be ghosting them this time. Yeah, holding back. Fuck it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody has time for that. Nobody has time to be stressed out. Yeah, but spirit is telling you to just think about it, okay? You. It says that you need to... Oh, no. I'm sorry. That's not what spirit said with this death card. Spirit says you need to decide to end it with this person, okay? End it so that you can move on to something better because you definitely need to heal from this person. They play too many fucking games with you. All right, what well, is the card from the Rebel deck? And then I'm going to release you guys. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. Amen. Amen. All right, bye, you guys.